Peace, peace, family. So I'm back with another one. Today what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk to my chosen ones about if they are fighting the concept of moving more righteously, they are holding on to the enemy's playbook. You know what I mean? This one was much, much easier to comprehend and understand and to utilize in real lifetime. A lot of beings are using that witchy playbook to cast spells, to maneuver your energy, so that way things can work more in their favor. So, when you start understanding the depths of how far the opposition is willing to go, it helps keep you more alert and on your toes as far as what's going on, what to expect, and what's happening. So, for some people, depending on which religion you believe in, you know what I mean, and which one you follow and practice, most beings that partake in religions like that, you know, and they practice, it's usually easier for them because they usually don't partake in anything that's outside of that religion. So their process is a lot easier if they're practicing their religion all the way to the, the highest degree. But for the rest of us who operate, you know, as the spiritual beings within having a human experience and you don't fully connect to religion, you kind of got to test the waters, you know what I mean? You got to pull a leaf here, you got to pull a plant there, you got to try different fruits and veggies to see which ones work better with your body, you know what I mean? So... For us, there's a lot of beings who will pretend to be moving in a higher light and trying to move more righteously. And it's easier for them to try to wiggle their tactics on us because we aren't practicing any of the main base religions, you know, outside of following natural law, you know what I mean? And... They have a lot of tactics and ways that they try to wiggle and move us around. And what I was coming to a conclusion with with trying to communicate outwardly, because what happens is the older you grow and the older you get, however you say it, and ascend, you still kind of have the same engagements you've always had your entire life because these beings are still using the same playbook. So you're growing and they're not, but you're still trying to figure out a way to communicate with these beings because you keep realizing it's a lot of them. Some beings that make you feel like, oh no, you just keep attracting them. No, it's a lot of them out here. If I look down and it's a lot of ants out here, it's like I'm not attracting them, it's just a lot of ants out here. So you are growing and trying to figure out different ways and better ways to communicate and to figure out how to still do what you do, you know what I'm saying, and fulfill all the things that you got to fulfill out here in your time, your realm, your world, whatever is going on, even though I know we all point in one direction, right? So, we have beings that will communicate with us because we don't practice any of those religions. They will pick a religion to utilize against us. Now, the thing is with when beings are utilizing religions and things against you that they don't practice, it shouldn't hold any weight on it because they don't practice it. So I could talk about somebody sucking at baseball, but I don't even play baseball, so I don't even know why I would be talking about he sucked. You know what I'm saying? So for me, that's kind of like an ignorant or arrogant statement to make. Just because he ain't as good as the the players on the field doesn't mean that he sucked. He had to make it to a certain level to get here. And I'm pretty sure he is better than me on the baseball field in that department. Because I don't focus my energy over there. You know what I mean? But dealing with these beings who will try to control you and manipulate you with these different perspectives. And the way it is easier for you to test them. Is when they are arguing and making their points. Their points and arguments are not connecting with the creator. You have to make your points and your arguments connect 
with the creator, with the source, you know, because then it wouldn't be an argument. It would be a conversation or a discussion because then both of you are trying to meet the same goal. But this is one way you can always tell when somebody is using some weird witchy manipulation tactics, you know what I mean? They utilize them when it sees fit for them, but they aren't actually walking in this light. The kind of content and the stuff that I talk about with y'all and expresses real life experiences, you know? And if it's not something that I went to, I know people have went through, but most of mine, 95% of it is real life experiences, you know what I mean? So. For me, it was just getting to a place of understanding, like, all right, if I put certain beings and family members that's close to me in that space or spouses close to me in that space, and then I analyzed that throughout the years or however I did my process, you know what I mean? Because for me, my mom has always been my mom, so I always analyzed her my entire life. I was always the one who was more outspoken. But then when it came to the spouses, that was a little bit different. So then that was like another spider web. But then I was able to correlate them two together because there became a point in my life where both of them was happening. So then I would just follow that transition right there and just kind of read what's going on over there. So for me, it was like it has to be a better way of communicating and understanding that I know that I'm coming from uh, the most healthiest an unharmful space that I can possibly come from, you know? And you can always tell that their tactics is coming from a controlling, manipulative space, you know? Anytime somebody's trying to direct your emotions opposed from getting to the point, you should already understand they sprinkle in a little bit of that witchy sauce on there. So for me, it's like if we're discussing something, we should be having points, you know what I'm saying? And we should be starting from those points and working around those points, but a lot of beings aren't doing that. They're creating their own starting points, which I understand that's what people do. They don't want to take accountability. But for me, it's like I've been in physical fights, all kind of fights. So for me, it's like, ah, if somebody had punched me or did some weird stuff to me and I still got at them in the fight and got off on them, I'm not going to be like, oh, yeah, I just whooped their ass. I would discuss, all right, yeah, I was getting at them and then they caught a hit on me or they got two hits off on me. I wouldn't, like, make it seem like, oh, nah, I didn't get touched at all because I'm this perfect nigga when I'm out here fighting and jigging and shit. You know what I'm saying? Nah. And that was just a small example of, like, how they will duck accountability and use the witchy sauce to kind of get you going in a circle away from the your purpose the bigger purpose and moving away from the creator you know what i'm saying so if i'm having a discussion or or some kind of conversation with you and you see me connecting with the source with the words that i'm using and the energy that i'm presenting it with and you're not connecting your points with the source then it, you're putting a lot less weight and value on your words while i am putting as much as i possibly can over here have to start understanding what's going on in between the lines. If we ain't paying attention to what's going on in between the lines, then you're going to be lost in the sauce, you know? So, for me, it's like I understood, like, it, it's not that, oh, I, I just, I am what I attract. Uh -huh. No. In this Western society, we attract everything. So, for me, I always took it as I attract everything. So, I always got to be mindful of certain beings that's making their way into my life, you know what I'm saying? And, the ones that already are in my life, you know, what what is the purpose? What are we doing? You know, I always re-look back and analyze my engagements and my relationships with the beings that's around me, you know, because there's different levels to it. It's like being on this baseball field. You got the infield and you got the outfield. You know, I got to make sure my infield is a little bit more tight knit, you know, but that is a huge way of being able to understand, like, which playbook someone is using as well too because then it wouldn't be an argument it would be you two climbing up the ladder different you know or it would be them saying hey we should use a ladder 
hey, we should use a stool, but y'all both are pointing in the same direction. You know what I'm saying? So you would always know because the energy would be more subtle in between the lines, even if it is a passionate conversation. You would be passionate, but you wouldn't be thinking and processing about doing physical harm to this being because you would already understand that both of y'all processes is pointing at the same goal, at the same direction. It's all going towards the creator. Y'all just actually at this point in time are just coming from two different angles one believe in a stool one believe in a ladder you know what i'm saying but we both trying to go up in the same direction that's why i always feel like it's important for us to understand these things and what's going on you know what i'm saying a lot of us is taught this weird manipulation shit don't even realize you being taught it using tactics that you saw on tv or most beings i shouldn't even say tv see on social media most beings is seeing more things from their phone than they are tv so you know, a, a lot of these things are affecting us. A lot of these things do affect you and how you engage and communicate if you don't have someone in place that understands these things. So they have to understand these things. Like, understanding this is like understanding how to grow food or how to grow fish. I'm, I said how to grow fish, how to fish food. You know what I'm saying? We need to do all of these things we should already be understanding how to do and for the ones that ain't around water that don't know how to fish or that's not near water that has to fish they process has to be more concerned with how to sustain how to sustain surviving and then also how to build and grow in that kind of environment you know so it's a lot of things to this regular natural life recipe that got all sauced up and chopped up due to the system doing what it do you know but it's our job to work on ourselves so it, a lot of people be processing oh, i cannot change the world i cannot yes you can yes you can it starts with you when you change yourself that's when you start affecting your environment the same way your environment affects you you affect your environment so for me i'm always trying to project harder than my environment especially if i'm you know a witchier environment and then sometimes depending on the environment i might just chill and keep my shit toned down because i really just want to read the environment and peep everything of what's going on you know what i mean so when you in this field for a while you start learning all the little different moves and techniques and things that you can do out here to kind of process being in a room full of vultures you know what i'm saying like people that's just picking at you and plotting at you and waiting for you to make the wrong move you know what i'm saying so they can go ahead and do what they do Vultures get charged up off of that shit, you know what I'm saying? So we got to understand these tactics that's being used on us, you know what I'm saying? If you're going to argue and debate, use that shit more righteously, you know what I mean? Make your arguments more righteous. Make sure your arguments and your points connect with the creator, you know, in the natural flow of things. It'll make your debates and arguments and things flow a lot smoother. And yes, we are out here in Western society where that all that stuff has to be incorporated. But you got to have a starting base first. So you get the starting base first. And then once you start perfecting the game, when they teach you how to play basketball, first you learn how to do basic dribble. Right hand, left hand, both hands. As you get more advanced, now you can start going behind your back and between your legs and you can start saucing it up. But until then, you got to get the basics down, you know what I'm saying? You got to start with the natural flow of things. So, I ain't want to run it up too long, you know what I'm saying? Tap into everything down below in the description, you know what I mean? Peace and love to the kings and queens.